Good afternoon, my relatives. I introduced my name, Walking Strong, Eagle Woman, Red Horse Running in Charlotte. And I also mentioned that uh, I'm from the Eagle Plan and Red River Valley is where I was born. And I'm um, uh, in the Cree teachings. They don't believe in two spirit. Rather, they look at it that those that see in between, in between the male and the female spirit, but also see in between the physical world and the spiritual world. And, uh, I had my CFS while I spent 19 years as a ward of the government when I was growing up uh, in foster care and group homes. And uh, I had my file with me when APTN and CBC uh, Radio Canada interviewed me. And they asked me what truth and reconciliation meant to me. And I said, well, first of all, this document I have in my hands is the CFS file on the first 19 years of my life. It's 12 pages of paper, single-sided, and it documents my childhood and uh, adolescent years were. And I says, everything in this document is uh, fabricated. The dates are all wrong. And according to this document, uh, nothing ever happened to me. And I says, that's not the truth. I want the truth of what really happened in those years that I attended the uh, day schools and I was a ward of the government. And I says, since they found the first 215 uh, uh, graves in uh, Kamloops, I says the world has come to a standstill. And now the truth is out, what really happened. And as they keep finding more and more, more unmarked graves, there's more truth coming out. And it's time it comes out. But Santa Canada as a whole recognizes the harm that was done to indigenous peoples. Reconciliation. I explained to them that it has to start with each and every one of us who lives in this country we call Canada. That it's not just something that politicians or churches or indigenous people have to commit to. It has to be every Canadian that uh, lives in this country. Uh, how can we move forward and reconcile with what took place if we, you know, won't admit that it did take place? For years, they covered it up. Uh, when I went to school, they never spoke of it. They never spoke of, uh, about any of the harms that were done to Indigenous people. And... Uh, it's time now that, you know, the facts are laid out in front of everybody and everybody realizes, hey, you know, we have a dark history in Canada. And it's time that we recognize that and that we start making steps towards reconciling after, you know, everything comes out. And it has to be on both sides. It's not just... Uh, the white people that have to reconcile with indigenous people, indigenous people have to reconcile with uh, non-indigenous people. Uh, I was part of a ceremony a few weeks ago where we welcomed 118 new Canadians. It was their swearing in ceremony as Canadians and they came from 42 different countries. Now, these people haven't heard our history, you know? Everybody's heard about the Holocaust in the Second World War where the Germans, you know, got rid of, you know, many millions of Jewish people. And also people from our 2SLGBT community, uh, they were, you know, 
uh, taken away and they were, uh, it was a genocide that took place. Now, everybody knows that history. It's in the, our school books. It's in our, you know, uh, documents and whatnot. But the history of indigenous people and the genocide that took place, that was never recorded anywhere. They never spoke about it genocide now people are you know wow this happened in this country like aren't we supposed to be better at that as canadians as human beings but uh we can't erase that it has to be you know uh archived in the places where they keep records of everything it has to be archived and Human Rights uh, Museum, you know, that this place, and how do we move forward now, you know? And for me, like, first thing that we have to remember is we're all human beings. And uh, in our Cree traditions, we have a word that speaks kinship. It speaks about our relation to everything. Well, means that we're related to not just all the human beings on Mother Earth, but everything else that's on Mother Earth, you know, and in the universe. So I like to think of it that, you know, we all have a special place here on Earth. And that was so that we could help one another. We could, you know, look after one another. So people have to stop thinking in the me syndrome because humanity has been doing that now for years. Me, 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 my, I. Uh, reminds me of that uh, uh, movie, uh, Finding Nemo, and that those seagulls, mine, 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 mine. It's ours. So, yeah, it's, uh, that pretty well explains truth and reconciliation that, you know, it can have all these uh, large, elaborate words to describe it, but what it boils down to is has come face us. We need to face it and we need to understand it so that we can move forward in a good way. The first thing that each and every person has to do is stand in front of a mirror and look into that mirror and ask themselves that question, you know, like, how can I be part of the community? How can I provide something, you know, useful, provide something that's positive to the community? And we have to ask ourselves, you know, like, where are my thoughts at? Where are my ideas coming from? And in order to be out in the community and be in the a helping uh, type of uh, environment. We have to, you know, put some of those things that we carried before, because I would say 99.9% .9 of Canadians carried some sort of uh, uh, fear, some sort of uh, uh, thoughts, as to, it, it's not my problem, you know? Like when we go out in the community, we want to be part of that community. We want to acknowledge everybody that's there and to, to do so in a good way, you know? One of the things I've learned in the last uh, couple of years is as everybody started talking about truth and reconciliation, and I see more and more people you know, coming to the indigenous communities and saying, we want to learn. We want to have what you have, you know, the, the way of being in the world that is encompassing everything. Uh, when, like I'm part of a, a community here where we conduct ceremonies, sweat lodges and uh, sun dances and whatnot. And we don't close the door to anybody. I know some of our indigenous people try to say, well, this is ours, you know, those ceremonies and all that. But 
for me, it's like my teachings that were given to me uh, from uncle is that whatever we learn in life doesn't belong to us. It was meant to help us grow to become better people. And our role and responsibility is to share that knowledge with all our relatives. That, you know, if we can all benefit from it, then it becomes a better place to live in. Being in the community, yeah, we all face uh, those people that don't want that whatsoever. You know? There's those that uh, still believe that, you know, uh, we should have been done away with. And that makes me sad that there's still people like that. Um, it's not being a true human being, you know? It's uh, hiding behind a wall of fear and trying to destroy things that they don't understand. When I'm in the community and I've, I've run up against those type of people, and my message to them is, hey, we're all human beings. Uh, we may have different backgrounds. We may have different languages. We ha may have different color of skin. We may have different genders, but we are all human beings. And that's first and most important thing that we need to acknowledge is that we are all human beings. You know, it's... Uh, it doesn't matter, you know, where we come from or how we identify, and um, try and let our young people know that, you know, because the reality is we've lost so many young people to suicide and to violence, and uh, like I keep telling people in the community, I'm sick and tired of hearing of our young people, you know, leaving us because. They don't feel wanted. They don't feel appreciated. They don't feel loved. And you know, there's no reason for that. So we're in the 21st century and we're supposed to be uh, better human beings than we were in the 18th century or 16th century. So let's, let's show that to the world that we are a better race of people. And, you know, it reminds me of that comments somebody made that there's only one race human race and that that explains it all you know come come and learn with us you know the young people come and learn with us and real realize that we're part of your family and uh We'll be there to support you. We'll be there to make sure that you're safe. We'll be there to welcome you into the family and to the ceremonies and to the teachings. Uh, I, I look at how many we've lost in the last three years here in our own community in Winnipeg. And it's three, four youth felt they didn't belong felt that they weren't wanted, felt that they, there was no way they could move forward, you know, in a good way. And so they left us. And uh, I want that to stop, you know, I want that to stop. It's, uh, I want to be able to tell them, you know, suicide's not the way, you know, come sit down, come and have tea, come and have food with us come and learn about the ceremonies and know that you are loved, that you're accepted and that you're welcome here. It's, uh, it's an ugly enough world without adding to it. So you know, if I can do my small part in that and yeah, that's why I'm here, you know? As a child, you know, I used to wonder what am I going to be when I grow up? And if somebody would have said to me, well, this is what you're, who you're going to be when you get older. You know, you're going to share knowledge with people. You're going to lead in ceremonies so that people have a place to come and be in a good place. And I would have probably told them that they were crazy because I didn't see that, you know, like 
because of the people that raised me, there was no way I could imagine those things. And I remember as a child, I was saying in that, you know, 70 years old, wow, that's ancient. And a hundred, oh, that's even, you know, more ancient, like dinosaurs thrown around. <laughs> Here I am today, you know, 72 years later, and uh, this is what they've given me to do, you know. And when I say they, I'm referring to the old ones, the ancestors. Uh, my guidance comes from them that you know, they're always there they haven't let me down uh, so I'll do my part with the best of my abilities and uh, hopefully you know it'll help somebody else <laughs>